Understanding served on the rocks. A deep dive into English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that you might have come across in movies, restaurants, or even in casual conversations. The phrase is, served on the rocks. If you've ever wondered what it means and how to use it correctly, you're in the right place. Let's unravel the mystery together. When we say a drink is served on the rocks, we mean that it is served over ice cubes. The term rocks humorously refers to the ice cubes. This is a common way to serve various spirits in cocktails, as the ice slightly dilutes the drink while chilling it, often enhancing its flavors. It's a popular choice for those who appreciate the pure taste of their liquor with a slight chill. The phrase, on the rocks, has been part of bar lingo for many years. It originated from the practice of chilling drinks. Historically, before the invention of modern refrigeration, people would collect ice from natural sources like lakes and rivers in winter and store it in ice houses. The term evolved from using literal rocks of ice to the smaller, more manageable cubes we're familiar with today. Using served on the rocks is quite straightforward. If you're at a bar or restaurant and prefer your drink chilled with ice, you can simply ask for it on the rocks. For example, you might say, I'll have a whiskey on the rocks, please. It's a simple yet sophisticated way to enjoy your favorite spirits. While on the rocks is universally understood in English speaking countries, it's interesting to note the cultural significance of drinking spirits this way. In some cultures, drinking spirits neat, without ice, is the norm, while others may prefer mixed drinks or cocktails. Asking for a drink on the rocks can sometimes spark a conversation about personal tastes and preferences. We hope this video has clarified what it means when a drink is served on the rocks and how you can use this phrase confidently in English conversations. Whether you're ordering a drink at a bar or just want to sound more knowledgeable about your beverage choices, remembering this phrase will surely come in handy. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more interesting English language tips. Cheers to learning and exploring the richness of English together.